Hello YouTubers and all you DIY haunters out there. i am uh, put together this video for uh, people that uh, build stuff on their own. In particular, uh, a lot of guys use wiper motors for a lot of their animatronics. Well, I ran into a situation where I was using a ATX power supply from a PC to generate 12 volts to run my wiper motor. Well, what happened was the wiper motor upon starting has a massive surge current that surge current would trigger the overcurrent protection on the ATX power supply and it would shut down so that forced me to figure out what was the problem and I, did, I figured out that the surge current was killing the ATX power supply I happen to have so if you happen to have an ATX power supply that does not have overcurrent protection you shouldn't have a problem but it turns out I had a combination of high current Viper motor from an old uh, 1960s vehicle and a uh, ATX power supply that had overcurrent protection. So anytime the uh, prop or the, the display that I had uh, uh, needed the motor to run, it started up and the ATX power supply cut out and everything went off. So all my power was lost because everything was run off the ATX power supply. So that's what this video is about. So let me get rid of this and let's look at this side of the sheet here this is a basic motor control that most guys use with their uh, animatronics driving a wiper motor what happens is you've got your microcontroller or whatever controller driving the gate of a MOSFET generally uh, in this case I use the MOSFET and that turns this transistor on which can, provides current through the wiper motor and as usual you should always use a flyback diode to catch and uh, reduce any voltage spikes from the inductive load of a motor so this is your basic circuit a uh, signal comes in from your MCU turns on the MOSFET uh, power transistor and you have current going through your wiper motor and when it shuts off, the any kind of voltage spikes from the inductive load are captured by this diode. So what happened was I had this circuit on my uh, system using the ATX power supply. The 12 volts was being provided by the PC's ATX power supply. So it killed it. So I decided to come up with a soft start circuit and that's where this side of the sheet comes into play as you see I've got the uh, driver MOSFET here I've got my wiper motor and I've got the flyback diode and I added this additional circuitry to provide a soft start or a current limited uh, circuit this will limit the maximum amount of current even though the motor has a high surge it can only put out or draw so much because I've in included this current limiting resistor as I call it the start up current limiting resistor this can be varied depending on the maximum current capability of your ATX power supply or any other power supply for that matter it has over current protection so when this turns on it activates the rest of this circuit what this circuit does is yeah, like I mentioned already this has the current limiting resistor in series with the transistor and the wiper motor so what happens is this part of the circuit is like a uh, turn on timer what happens is when this gets grounded as this transistor uh, closes and becomes a short circuit to ground it activates the rest of this circuit what happens is since we've got 12 volts coming in here and this is at ground potential now because this transistor is on this RC network here charges up and there's a slight delay there uh, as this capacitor charges up it takes a little bit of time before it hits this MOSFET's gate trigger threshold once that threshold is met this transistor turns on and what happens is since it's in parallel with this uh, soft start current limiting resistor it bypasses it so it's like it's a picture of relay closing 
this resistor goes away all the current goes through this closed transistor now and full current can go through the motor but as as uh, what happens is when this thing has started already the amount of current for driving the motor is way less than the surge current at the initial startup so this capacitor resistor combo governs how long it takes for this transistor to turn on and bypass this current limiting resistor and after the circuit turns off this opens up your ground is gone you don't have any more current through here this capacitor then this discharges through this resistor and that will discharge so that it will the circuit will be ready for the next time you demand the wiper motor to be turned on so this turns on it grounds this portion this transistor gets grounded this RC network starts to charge through this path once it reaches the threshold of this MOSFET trigger voltage it turns on bypasses this or shorts out this resistor and now you have full load going from 12 volts through the motor through this MOSFET bypassing that resistor and going through the second MOSFET and that's where you get your soft start functionality so I thought I would share this with everybody that uh, works with these and have had problems and didn't know what it was generally you're if you used an ATX power supply or any power supply that doesn't have enough current capability to drive the wiper motor instantaneously upon start out you will need to have a soft start as long as the power supply has enough current to run during normal operation but definitely need this if you have a high current surge required by the wiper motor upon startup I hope this was helpful um, it's a little bit late but I promised um, uh, Stephen Kochi from uh, Hall Staff's animatronics workshop that I would provide this because he's always looking for new circuits and I'm glad to share it uh, I've uh, used this circuit last Halloween in a monster in a box application and it ran uh, for a whole month every night for who knows how many activations that's going to be another project is putting a little timer inside my uh, gag so that uh, I can see how many times they were triggered but hopefully this helps enjoy happy haunting or uh, happy <laughs> hacking because you could use this for anything else that requires a wiper motor Good luck. Thank you.